Welcome back, it's me Lou, and I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And today we are looking at this, the Marvel Hulkbuster. So if you've seen some of my videos um, in the past, you'll know that I have a thing for like bargain budget action figures. And uh, nothing screams budget more than this guy. Uh, this is an action figure that I purchased at Walmart. Um, you'll always find a figure like this in the checkout aisle. It's normally placed next to like the um, USB battery banks, those kind of cheap headphones. And you'll even find other bargain toys like Super Mario Brothers and even like Star Wars figures that are packaged um, very similarly to this one. But today we're looking at the Marvel Hulkbuster. Uh, in the past, I've reviewed a, a budget Captain America, a budget Black Panther, and uh, I think a budget Hulk figure that are from um, this same line. So this figure, I believe I paid, uh, I think, $4.98 for. Now, this is something that's clearly not aimed at, like, hardcore collectors. This is something that's um, targeted more towards parents and little kids. Um, it even says here, ages four and up. But I have a soft spot for these toys, and every time I'm at Walmart checking out, I always look through these bargain figures to see what they have. And I came across this one, the Hulkbuster. Um, I'm a big fan of the Hulkbuster, and if you've seen my videos, I've already reviewed probably like a handful of different versions of the Hulkbuster, um, all from like either the movies or the um, comic books. It, the Hulkbuster, it's a popular Iron Man armor. Um, people love it. It's almost kind of like a Russian nesting egg where it's like an armor within an armor. And it's no, generally the Hulkbuster is big, beefy, and it can go toe to toe with Incredible Hulk. And I don't know. It's just one of those really cool comic book things, and it translated really well into the movies. So, yeah, here we go. We're going to take a look at this guy. So. Uh, right off the bat, let's take a look at his package. So this is a bargain figure, and like many of these Marvel bargain figures, they come in these small little boxes. I kind of call them, uh, like, they're almost like a windowed coffin, <laughs> kind of. Um, very, it's like a very rectangle box, you know, with this window. And I dig how each, each, um, of these bargain figures, they'll have to, like, showcase a different comic book style artwork here. Like, for this one, it's the Hulkbuster. If you get Captain America, there's a cool comic book rendition of Cap here. And then on the spine, a much larger image of the Hulkbuster. And on the back, a brief description. It says, to defeat the Hulk, Tony Stark creates a Titan-sized suit of armor known as the Hulkbuster. And here he is. Okay. All right. So far, most of my reviews on these kind of figures, whether it's the Marvel ones or the Star Wars figures, these bargain figures, I normally love these. This one, though, I'm not sure yet. Just because aesthetically, he looks really, he looks really weird. Um, the Hulkbuster is very, generally speaking, when you think of the Hulkbuster, it's a very top-heavy armored mech suit, and it looks gigantic. This one kind of... It doesn't look gigantic. Um, the proportions are kind of weird. And uh, now that I look at it, it kind of almost resembles a super battle droid from the Star Wars prequels. More specifically, like if you've seen Star Wars Attack of the Clones, um, which is episode two, during the Battle of Geonosis in the arena battle, you, come, you, you see these souped up versions of the battle droids. They're known as the super battle droids. Um, they're normally like a gunmetal gray, and they're all beefed up, and this guy kind of resembles that. So now that I'm looking at that, at this, and see kind of like the resemblance of the Super Battle Droid, there's part of me that's giddy because I'm a big nerd for like Star Wars, especially the prequels, and the Battle Droids. I love the Battle Droids. But at the same time, I feel conflicted because when I think of the Hulkbuster, I think of something giant, um, very muscular towards the top, and it looks like a badass mech. This thing th doesn't scream that at all. But it is a budget figure. It's aimed at parents and kids ages 4 and up. So I, I, I might have to be a little bit forgiving, even though aesthetically it looks really weird to me. And uh, let's take a look at this guy up close. All 
right, now he's being stubborn. <laughs> he doesn't want to come out. Come out! I might just have to obliterate the box, I guess. Um. Oh, okay, so... He didn't want to come out because he had one of those weird... Uh, plastic ties. So yeah, right off the bat, if you're expecting something that looks like the Hulkbuster from like the comic books or the movie, you're going to be very disappointed. This thing, uh, it's weird looking. Um, I've said this before with a lot of the budget figures. A lot of the budget toys, they, they look flat like pancakes. It's almost like someone took a truck and just ran them over. And if you look from the profile, you'll see what I mean. It's this flat. There's nothing really going on here. His chest doesn't protrude at all. He has no butt. And uh, it's just flat. There's details that are sculpted into him. And his character silhouette kind of looks like what it should look like. But it's a really flat looking figure. And I believe with this one, the articulation of this figure might be the most limited out of all the budget Avengers figures I've looked at so far. But let's take a look at this guy up close. Um, first off, the sculpting. In the parts where it matters, it's nice and crisp. Like, there's that honeycomb texture in his upper arm that's very prevalent in the comic books for this rendition of the armor. And the sculpting here is nice. All deep cuts. Same with the head. Uh, even though the head's kind of flat, at least the cuts where his eyes are, they're nice and deep. And the paint job in the eyes, it's pre they're pretty much perfect. It's, uh, with these really, really narrow slits, You'd almost expect there to be some sort of like um, blotched paint job, but no, nah, it's pretty. It's pretty clean and pretty accurate. Uh, his arc reactor is painted blue. The sculpting around um, his waist, it's kind of soft, so the details aren't as crisp as like in the other parts of the plastics. Same with the inner thighs. The, the sculpting is very soft. The definition isn't as high as like on the forearms here. Like if you look here. His fingers, the sculpting is really beautiful. Nice deep cuts, really crisp textures. Uh, the armor pieces here over the shins, are they're made of a soft rubbery plastic and they look like they're probably glued on. Uh, articulation, very, it's like I said, it's limited. The head doesn't move, the waist doesn't move, just the arms. So, If you're a serious collector, um, I don't think many of you are going to give this a, a second look. You'll probably just t take a pass. If you're a parent, though, and you do have a child that's into the Avengers figures, I think this is a, a bargain for, you know, a sub $5 figure. Uh, you know, granted, you know, if you're a much more serious collector, you're going to be more demanding in terms of the aesthetics and how this looks and performs. But, you know, let's be honest. This is a this is a toy, you know, to the strictest sense of the definition of the word. Um, you know, this is really meant for children. But you know, it 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 kind of it's kind of growing on me. Um, I think I'm just more so disappointed in the fact. Like I don't mind the fact that it's kind of short, but if the figure wasn't so flat, I think I'd I'd like it a little bit more. Um, it just looks like the Hulkbuster just got ran over by like a monster truck or something. But there's some redeeming qualities. You know, like I said, the sculpting on the arms, and the legs is really nice. The paint jobs. Uh, for the limited amount of paint application that there is, it's pretty clean. Um, you know, I'll paint you know twenty dollars for Marvel Legends figure, and sometimes it it can have a sloppy paint job. But this one, it's no complaints. It looks pretty clean. All right. So one thing I said about these toys that I think is kind of cool is that you know they make enough of these figures where you can kind of create a small handful of Avengers. So you can kind of create a small Avengers team. And it looks it looks a lot cooler when you have all the budget figures next to each other. Like here's a budget cap from the same line, Black Panther, the Hulk, and then the Hulkbuster. Now for the life of me, I can't remember if they ever produced uh, this a plain Iron Man for this line. I got to double check. Um, but it's just it's just neat seeing these all lined up. You know, and what you're looking at here is uh, like a tw you know twenty dollar collection for four decent action figures. You know, if you're a serious collector, you're not gonna think twice about this. But 
if you're a parent or if you're a little kid, you're going to love something like this. You know, um, and this is called the Hulkbuster for a reason. He takes on the Hulk, so let's compare them side by side. The Hulkbuster is taller just by a hair. And as you can see here, um, it's this is kind of the more traditional comic book Hulkbuster. This is one from the Indestructible Hulk. I believe it was issue 6. And this is the variant cover done by legendary Hulk artist Dale Keown. And one thing that always gives away the comic book version of the Hulkbuster, is like I mentioned, is that the upper arm, the shoulder, always kind of has that honeycomb pattern. But for the most part, this thing's pretty, you know, pretty close in, ter in terms of its design. It's not 100% accurate, but it's, it's, it's up there. You know, if you're a little kid, you're going to love recreating battles between these two behemoths. So... And since we're on the subject of budget figures, this is semi a budget figure. It's from the um, Avengers Mech Strike line. And this is the ultimate, I think, Iron Man Mech Strike suit. Um, I got this at Walmart. I believe this is $19. And what this comes with is that you get a. This comes with a budget Iron Man figure, which is pretty articulated for being a. You know, non premium toy line. And. The Hulkbuster armor just closes in. So, you know, in terms of pricing, you know, you're paying under $5 for something like this versus, you know, $19 to $20 for something like this. They're both budget figures, and I think it just depends on your, your price range. I like this a lot because even though it's aimed at kids, I could picture other collectors like myself buying these figures just because... Um, even though it's not on the same par as the Marvel Legends, you know, you, you do get a, a Hulkbuster armor and a pretty decent budget Iron Man figure. Um, this isn't going to win any awards or hang with, like, your Marvel Legends MCU Iron Man, but it's a really good figure. I like this a lot. And this Hulk armor is really just a shell. It's nothing but a hollow shell, but it's articulated in parts where it needs to be. And I think it's a great display piece. And if you're just a fan of collecting Iron Man in general, you're going to want to create your own Hall of Armors. So I think this is almost, whether or not you like it, I think this is a must-buy if you're just a fan of Iron Man figures. So if I had to rate this guy numerically, um, you know, we'll just rate him for what he is. He's a budget toy. Uh, if I had to, like, compare him to these other ones and rank them in, like, in order, I think... For me, it's a toss-up between Black Panther and Captain America about which ones that I feel is the best one in this line. Uh, with these two, if I had to choose, if I was stranded on a desert island and I had to choose one of these figures, I'd probably go with the Hulk just because I'm more of a Hulk fanboy. This one's a little bit more playable. Head kind of rotates to arm moves, and this guy actually has a waist swivel unlike the rest of these figures. But going back to rating this numerically, uh, my first thought is it might be se it might seem high, but I would say a, a six and a half to a seven, uh, just because for what it is, it's a budget toy. It's under five dollars. Um, if I'm a little kid, I think I'd be all over something like this. It 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 is what it is. It's a budget toy, and it you know it does bear semblance to the the Hulkbuster. And if you have this Hulk. You know, you kind of need this, so they go at it. So, let's wrap this up. This video ran a lot longer than I thought it was. I thought this would be like a five-minute video, but it isn't. Okay, my name is Lou. Um, thank you so much for dropping by and checking out this video. If you're ever in Walmart or wherever and you see this guy just sitting on a shelf, give him a look. You never know. You might want to bring him home with you. So, until next time, I will talk to you later. Take care.